it's Donna and today I have a Nordstrom Trunk Club box for you guys. Alright, so Nordstrom Trunk Box. I've kind of had a roller coaster relationship <laughs> with Nordstrom Trunk Box. Um, it started really rocky. I didn't quite understand how it worked. Um, I thought it was very similar to some of the other styling services where you kind of fill out all the surveys and then the stylist magically understands what you like. With Nordstrom's, you have to be a little more specific is what I have learned. So when you order your trunk club, you have a little spot that you can send the stylist a note, and that's helped me immensely. So if you write in there kind of what you're looking for, what you don't like at all, They've been a lot better the last couple of boxes. Um, so I did decide to give them a try again this month. Um, a friend of mine, Alicia, so if you haven't met Alicia yet, make sure you go over to her channel at Murrayed Life. I'll leave her link recently. She just got a trunk club as well. She used my link, so I also got credits from that. So thank you so much, Alicia. Please make sure you go check out her unboxing as well. It was her first box. So <laughs> if you're not familiar with trunk club, um, I will leave that link in the comments and the description below. It will actually give you $50 off of your first trunk club box which is probably one of the highest credits available out there there is a $25 styling fee and that $50 credits will be covered it will cover your styling fee and then you also get $50 towards something in your box the other cool thing in here is that after you check out with trunk club they give you an option to add three extra items to your box um, so you get to pick items to go in here as well so you can even pick the items you want to spend your $50 on so you really are at no loss whatsoever um, um, the other unique thing about Trunk Club is they give you a preview ahead of time before they ship the trunk to you. And what that does is it gives you all of the items that the stylist has picked out for you. You can go in and decide if you want a different color in that item, which I've done in this box. You can also say, no, I don't want you to send that. There's no way I'm keeping it. Um, so I did go through and do that. The odd thing is, is that when I did that, I made notes like, no, I don't like that purse. Maybe you could send me a mini book bag was one of the comments. Um, there was also a pair of shoes in there, which I think I've gotten before and I didn't like. <laughs> so I said, no, I would much rather like a cute little pair of sneakers for the summertime. And instead they sent me really expensive boots. So I'm not quite sure what they were thinking um, in terms of what they were replacing the items with. Um, they also sent me a pair of $200 jeans. So I don't know what's going on Trunk Club. Um, I did write customer service and I said, you know, you kind of missed an opportunity where I had requested specific items. And instead it was almost like they just threw two more items in the box and didn't even look at my profile whatsoever. Um, because my profile is very clear that I like budget items. I also don't wear heels and they gave me these boots that are heels and they're super expensive. <laughs> so customer service was nice. They did write me back and they said, okay, we completely understand that. We're sorry we missed the mark on that. Just send them back in the box. That is what's nice also. The shipping is free both ways. So there's a label in here. All you do is you put it back on the box. You send everything in the box that you don't like back to them and you're not charged anything. So again, give them a try, use that link below. You'll get that $50 towards something in your box. You're bound to get something for free. Um, and then you might love it. I don't know. Everybody is kind of hit and miss with this one, I think. You can also go to the Nordstrom website, I've heard, and you can specifically request certain items to be sent in your trunk club. Whether that's a guarantee, I'm not sure, but it's a try <laughs> if you want to try to do that. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump in after that little rant um, and kind of see what they sent me. Um, I, they do give me the preview, but I always seem to forget before the items get here. I'm exactly what I have in here. So it's still kind of a surprise. Um, I'm going to put this on the floor because it is so massive. It is super cute though. It looks like a trunk. This is the first time you've seen one of these. So I do really like that. And look how big it is. But I'm sure half the space in here is those really expensive boots. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm going to put this on the floor though so we can go ahead and open it up. Let me at least show you what it looks like inside. The other nice thing about Trunk Club is how they present their items. They wrap everything individually. Um, I do hate that I have to open each bag. I always feel like I'm opening it and I won't be able to return it, but that's not the case. It's just to kind of keep it all protected. So I'm gonna take a second and open everything up and then I'm gonna show you what I have and then we're gonna try some things on. So hold on. Okay, so the other great thing about Trunk Club is how much they send you. Like, look at this pile, it's crazy. Um, so I'm gonna show you exactly what's in here. And also, uh, 
the business. <laughs> so let's go through and kind of take a look at what they sent me. So as I was talking about earlier, after you kind of do the sneak peek of your trunk, you do have the option to add items. And I always add items because I feel like if anything, I can use my credits on the items that I picked up. So I did pick out a pair of, or a set of Adidas cute little socks. So I thought those were really nice. I also picked out, so we're gonna find it. This cute little Nike sports bra. So I'll be curious to see if that even fits me, but I thought that was super cute. And then I also picked out these pair of lounging joggers. And these are by Viore. I always probably say that wrong. Let me see if I can find the tag. So either way, I know that I'll walk away with something because of those three items, but that's what those are. So what did my stylist pick out for me? Let's take a look. So I did request some dress clothes. I also asked for some transition pieces that I can wear during the day, but also maybe to work. So this was the pair of dress pants that she selected for me. Um, these are Vince Camuto black dress pants. So I think those are very nice. They do have some pockets in the back, which I like. It looks like they have a straight if not a bell bottom. We'll see, a flare maybe bottom. Um, we'll see once we get those on. Um, also, she selected a casual, which I think they've sent this shirt to me before, <laughs> but this is a made well gray t-shirt. Um, they also sent me a made well white tank top. Okay, um, just some basics, I guess. Um, and then this one I thought was unique. This is NYDJ, I've never heard of that before, but look how pretty this little tank is. It's got this cute little collar, so I'm not sure how high up that's gonna come and whether that's gonna feel like it's choking me or not, but it has a couple little buttons there. Um, so I'm curious more so than anything to try that one on. I love the paint stroke look, like the watercolors. I think that's super cute. This one's by Cece. I don't remember this one. Oh, yes, I do. Okay, so this is a cute little short sleeve, but it's got this unique like ruffle sleeve here um, with a floral pattern on it. I don't know, it's really wrinkly, so I don't know if that's gonna bother me um, or whether that's the style. Am I supposed to iron those out or if I can throw that in the dryer? I'm not sure, but again, just wanted to experiment and kind of see what that would look like. Here is another top little bit outside my comfort zone. Looks a little short-waisted though, so I'm not sure on that. But it does have like a polka dot. She said this was purple. Looks more like a blue color. This is also by that CC color or company. Um, and it has that same ruffled neck. Um, so I don't know. I, it just looks short, short everything. It looks like short sleeves. It looks like short waist. So hmm, not sure about that one. This one is a Nordstrom brand t-shirt. <laughs> something pretty simple and then they had already picked out a pair of jeans which I did like and decided to keep these uh, in the trunk this is made well and I thought these were really cute I liked the color on them that light color um, and it is a straight leg which I did really think was cute and then these are the jeans that they decided to just throw in there <laughs> these are by a brand I have never heard of before called good America um, and apparently these are $145. It must be the boots that are $200, but come on guys, $150 jeans. Never. I will try them on. So unless they feel like gold on my body, I don't think I would ever spend that much money on a pair of jeans. Um, but we will see. They are black and they are skinny legs. So I don't know. Let's take a look at the boots. They are Mark Fisher boots. It's kind of not really seasonal either, which was kind of weird, I thought. Um, but we'll see a look at them. They're super cute. I, I mean, super cute. But just not my style. I cannot wear heels because I have back issues. I always wear flats, and that's in my description. It says sneakers or flats. That's what I specifically ask for has like this pointy toe, which is very uncomfortable to me. So somebody I'm sure would love these. But again, I just think they threw them in there just to add something, which is just weird. Why even take the time to do that? So I'm probably not even gonna try those on because it's just not my jam. <laughs> so, but let's go ahead. I'm gonna try on the other pieces that they did send me and let's take a look and see what maybe I might wanna keep. All right, hang tight. Okay, so the first outfit I decided to try on is the Madewell t-shirt and made well jeans 
So let's talk about the top. So it's just a basic gray top. Um, and I have a feeling it's gonna be more expensive than what I wanna spend on just a plain t-shirt. It's very comfortable though. Um, I do, you know, the, the waist is a little bit higher than what I'm used to, the length of it. Um, but you know, it's just a lounge around the house kind of thing, run to the grocery store, throw on a shirt kind of top. Um, so, but nothing special about it. The jeans, <laughs> Although they fit very well, they're way high-waisted. I mean, they're like halfway up my stomach, which I'm just not comfortable with. Um, so it just feels weird. Like it's just super high, like the jeans go forever, which I guess the mom jeans are in right now. So unfortunately they're just super high. I don't quite get that trend, um, but they're too long too. So there's a lot of gapping right here. And then the length is just super long that it's kind of bunching on the bottom. So unfortunately the jeans aren't gonna work either. So let's go ahead and try something else on, hang on. Okay, so second outfit is actually kind of surprising. <laughs> so the Madewell tank top, it's very comfortable. It's super like soft. It kind of has like an ashy look to the material. Let me get a little closer there. Um, and I think it fits really nicely. Like I wouldn't be just a plain white tank top kind of girl, but I think it's really cute. Now I paired it with the joggers that I had picked out and they're super soft and really comfortable. <laughs> they kind of fit perfect. They have nice pockets in the back on them. Um, they just hug in a really nice way. It doesn't really surprise me, um, <laughs> but I'm hoping the price tag isn't what I remember them to be and why I picked them out. I'm not quite sure, but if they're this soft, I mean, they're like butter on my skin. They just are amazing. They're a nice like ashy gray color too, which I really love, or charcoal gray, um, which I do love. They have a tie on the top as well, so you can kind of loosen them up after you have a meal, you know, that kind of thing. So, oh, I don't know, this is really comfy, kind of like lounge around the house too, but you could run to the store. I, I don't know, I keep saying that, but that's kind of what I feel like in this box. So let's go ahead and try on just a few more things. All right, so next outfit, I went ahead and tried on the $150 <laughs> jeans that I've never heard of before. Thankfully, they're too tight on me. Yeah, they definitely are not my style. Um, they're super like short ankled as well. They are not in the right place. Um, so they're definitely a no go. I mean, the waist fits okay, but they are so tight on my thighs. Um, I just don't even like the look of them. I don't know, maybe I'm just turned off by the price tag, but it's a no. <laughs> but let's talk about the top. So I'm kind of surprised by the top. Um, I do feel like it fits me nicely, at least from what I can see. Um, just not sure again about the sleeves. I mean, what do you guys think? Is this something that is cute? Is that in? I mean, I just worry about the wrinkles, I guess, and the care of that. Um, I do like the length of it. I think it looks cute with a pair of jeans. I could probably dress it up with a pair of dress pants. I don't know, I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments below and let me go ahead and get another outfit on. Okay, so I went ahead and tried on, I think, blue top <laughs> with the dress pants. Um, we'll talk about the top. So I was kind of right in my fact that the sleeves are awkward. I mean, they're just in a weird place. They do have a little bit of elastic on them, so I could maybe push them up if I want. Nope, see, they won't even stay where they're supposed to be. <laughs> so I just think they're at a weird spot. I mean, if they hit maybe down here or even at the elbow, it maybe made sense. Plus it's a full button down, so all day long I'd be worried it would pop open. I'd have to wear a tank top underneath of it. Um, and the ruffles just don't make sense to me right here. I mean, they're not, pronounced enough. Um, there is a little bit of smocking detail right here that I didn't notice till just now. Um, so I'm gonna pass mm, on that. It's just not my thing. The pants, so apparently everywhere, everybody wears really high heels. <laughs> These pants are ridiculous. One, they're too big, like way too big. So that's kind of a nice boost of ego there. But the length is massive. I mean, look, I'm gonna stand on my tippy toes. The longest things are, I mean, I would have to wear heels with these, like massive heels. So that's not going to work for me because I already said I don't wear heels. <laughs> so unfortunately, this whole outfit is a no. So I think I have one or two more tops to try on. So hang on. Okay, so I actually only had this top left to try on. It's just super awkward. <laughs> so I do like the design on it but this neck thing is not gonna work for me. I don't do turtlenecks and this is like choking me up top. I mean, there's plenty of room for a normal person, I'm sure, but this is choking me. It's a very good silhouette. I mean, it just like doubles my width. I am not that big. There's just no tailoring to it. There's no style to it. Just really disappointed <laughs> in the dress 
those clothes, I guess. Um, so let's go ahead though, get together and let's look at the prices and see if there's anything we can pick out in this box that I should be keeping. All right, so a lot of mixed feelings about this box, to be completely honest with you. Um, I think they completely missed the mark on any of the dress clothes. Um, the casual clothes though, we'll talk about. Depends on the pricing on some of the items. So they do include this little, I always call it my little passport, <laughs> but it's this little blue folder um, that has your return labels. They usually also include tape that you put back on the box, which I think is really cute. Um, <laughs> which is nice. And then they also, like I said, the return labels in here. Um, but let's take a look at the, um, the prices. Um, I'm, I'm kind of curious what the stylist had to say. So for those that don't like to listen to this, you can fast forward about 30 seconds, <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and read this and see what they thought that they should be sending me. Hi Donna, I'm so excited for you to check out this trunk. I made sure to include a mix of options you can wear for the rest of PA winter season. I don't see any winter clothes. Okay. <laughs> and into the spring season, maybe the pants. I focused on a variety of items to prepare you for the season, like lightweight layering pieces, layering tie-ups, tops, versatile bottoms, and some fabulous shoes to finish off the looks. This is originally, I think, before I switched out the shoes. I spent time looking at your Pinterest and used it as an inspiration for this versatile workwear trunk. So that is a good idea is to upload a Pinterest board. They will look at that apparently. All the blouses look brilliant with either the slacks or the jeans. All pair well under blazers and neutral cardigans. I think you will love the purple blouse. It has intricate details and is light and airy. The handbag, while it may seem not versatile, is versatile and can be worn with a variety of outfits. It was this cute little, I mean, it was very cute, little um, straw handbag, but you had to carry it in your hand. Completely not practical <laughs> for me as a mom. I'm actually more of a mini book bag. And I even suggested to them that if they wanted to throw a Kate Spade person here, that I would take a look at it. And they completely missed the boat on that. Like I love Kate Spade and I don't mind splurging. That's the one thing I don't mind splurging on. And they didn't. So I'm just surprised by that. Um, during the next 48 hours, you can review your trunks, remove, swap things. The first trunk is a get to know you trunk, which I don't get either because this is not my first trunk. So I don't even know why she said that. Don't forget to check out your pick page where you can add up to three items, which I already talked about, Kelly. So I'm so confused. It's almost like they thought I had never done a trunk before. <laughs> I have. This is probably my fourth or fifth trunk. So I'm just not sure. I'm so confused. So let's take a look at the prices though. And let's see how much everything costs. All right, so the wide leg pants. These are called the nine wide leg pants by Vince Camuto. These were $79. If they had fit me perfectly and the right length, I don't mind spending good money on a good pair of dress pants, but that's not gonna work for me because they didn't even fit me and they were way too long, so that's not gonna happen. All right, the Whisper Lightweight Cotton V-neck T-shirt. Which one is that one, the gray? Doo -doo -doo. So this one was okay, the Madewell. Again, just really basic. So Whisper Lightweight Cotton V-neck T-shirt in gray. Um, and this one was $19.50. Not too bad, but again, nobody else knows it's Madewell. So does it just look like a T-shirt I picked up at Walmart? Mm, maybe. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's next. All right, the jeans by Madewell. All right. So these, um, too high, didn't fit me right but these are by Madewell. These are the 11 inch Road Tripper Authentic High Waist Skinny Jeans by Madewell and these are $79.50. Again, I wouldn't mind spending $79.50. That's why I told them to keep it in the box if they fit properly. So, but, because for a good pair of jeans, it's hard to find, right? Right, ladies? <laughs> All right, so the next item is the NYDJ uh, tank top or sleeveless top. This is the print ruffle neck sleeveless top in pink. And this is $79. Wow. Yeah, that, that's a no. <laughs> if I'm missing something, let me know in the comments below. All right, so I did try on the Nike sports bra off camera. Uh, and this was super cute. So this is a contender, but this is one of the items that I picked out as one of my three items. So <laughs> I picked it out. What's really cute too, I didn't notice, is the side is a mesh Nike swoosh. Like, isn't that cute? It's on both sides, just a cute little detail. And the middle here is mesh as well. So it's a little see-through there, which is a little more see-through than I'm used to, but when you're sweating really bad, you want some air <laughs> going on. So I do like that. This is called the Indie Mesh Insert Sports Bra by Nike in pink, and this one's $35. So for a nice Nike sports bra, my $50 credit could go towards that. Put that there. 
Um, okay, the boots, which I'm not gonna grab out again. They're called the Annabelle Booties by Mark Fisher in black, and they're $198.95. Never gonna happen, never gonna happen. Maybe I'll come across you in some sort of thrift store. I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. All right, what is next? Okay, the next one is the Blue Top by Cece, which I'm just not sure about. Maybe I'll feel better about it when I look back at the video. But this one's the Ruffle Sleeve Knit Top by Cece in blue, and this one's $44. Not too bad. I mean, if you're comparing it to like Stitch Fix World and things like that, that's not too bad price-wise. Just not sure, just not sold on it yet, so. I don't know, let me know what you guys think below. The last dress top here, this one was a no from the beginning, I think. This is also by Cece. Um, this one is the dot print woven shirt in, see, blue. She said it was purple. She must've been blind when she was picking this out. It is in blue and this is $69. That's not happening. <laughs> okay. Um, I did not show you guys the Nordstrom gray top because it was too small for me. So I just didn't feel comfortable showing you guys. But this one's the Everyday V-neck T-shirt um, by Nordstrom in brown. It's more of a gray brown. Maybe it's a lighting thing. Um, but this one is $19. So that's not too bad to be a Nordstrom brand. Uh, but it just doesn't fit me. So you might be able to exchange things too. But... I don't know, I'm not in love with it, so I'm not gonna go through that effort. <laughs> All right, the Adidas socks was one of my picks. So this set of socks is a six packs of Trefoil logo no-show socks, Adidas, and these were $20. So again, I could get the Nike bra and the, tw and the $20 socks and I would only be paying like $5. Hmm, that might be the option. All right, let's see, what else do we have? The jeans. These are the Good American. Have you heard of Good American? I have never heard of Good American. These are called Good Legs Ankle Skinny Jeans in blue, obviously. $145. There you go. Go out and get you some. Not really. And then the joggers here. These are the ones that I had also picked out by Viore. Love these. These are Pocket Performance Joggers by Viore in gray, and they're $84. $84. Ugh. So I would have to pay out of my own pocket $34. Um, ugh, I'm just not sure, but they're super comfortable if I'm going to wear them all of the time. You know what I'm not seeing on here? Oh, the top that I'm wearing here that looks so cute with the joggers. The last item, this is the Whisper Shout Cotton V-neck Tank by Madewell in white. And this is $18.50. Hmm, so if I bought this and the cute little joggers to go with it, it wouldn't be so bad. I don't know, what do you guys think? I really would like to hear what you have to say and what your thoughts are on this box. Should I go with the Nike sports bra and the Adidas socks? Should I go with the joggers and the tank top? Do I get it all? I just don't know what to do. So there are some great choices, as you can see. Even if your stylist hits the mark, you can still pick out some items for yourself. So don't forget, if it's your first time, please use that link below in the description so you get $50 off. Nothing to lose. All right, that's all I've got for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed my box. If you did, remember to hit that like button. Also, make sure that you hit the subscribe and the little bell so that you can see all the videos when they come out. All right, guys, until next time, happy styling.